Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Video True Dead, and welcome to Secret of Mana, or to be precise, Collection of Mana, which has just re-released the entire franchise onto the Switch. So as a result of that, Collection of Mana includes Final Fantasy Adventure and Trials of Mana, which as I understand it was never actually released in the West, this is the first time this has ever been available in my part of the world. But I want to actually look in to Secret of Mana, because Secret of Mana is uh, one of those games where particular people of a particular generation sometimes named this as one of their favourite games of all time. It was regarded as something of a masterpiece when it released, one of the finest RPGs ever released on the Super NES. This was 1993 if I recall correctly, but I have never actually played it before. So this just struck me as a perfect opportunity to go in and experience something that many people consider one of the finest games ever made. So uh, let's dive in, shall we? Oh, and bonus points already because I can choose between US English where everything's misspelt and UK English where every word has an extra U in it. So obviously we're going for that one. Ah, yes, of course. 1993. Before we decided that 16 by 9 was the resolution we were all going to agree on. Gotcha. Using the power of mana, a civilization had grown strong. In time, mana was used to create the ultimate weapon, the Mana Fortress. This angered the gods. They sent their beasts to destroy the fortress. A violent war rocked the world, and mana seemed to disappear. Before all was lost, a hero with the mana sword smashed the fortress. Though the civilization had been destroyed, the world was peaceful again. But time flows like a river, and history repeats. Oh, check it out! Mode 7 fake 3D graphics! Oh, it's like playing Star Wing all over again! Oh, on the Super NES in 1993, that would have blown your flipping mind! Shush, be quiet, the Elder will find us here, and he'll be mad. Right, where am I sneaking off to? Because I'm John. Normally I do name characters like, you know, what they're supposed to be named, so I'll name Link like Link, but I didn't actually know what this character's name was supposed to be. So he's just John now, and apparently he's got a friend called Elliot. But I heard Grandma say something about a shiny object near the falls. Right, Mana Sword, go pick up Mana Sword, become Chosen Hero, save the world, gotcha. Oh, hang on, apparently I'm really bad at walking across logs. That's a really bad flaw for a video game character to have. You generally have to walk across a lot of fallen logs that conveniently bridge gaps when you're a video game character. Still, on the plus side, I'm not dead because I landed in water. That old video game chestnut. Here we go. Found my way out of the water. And we've got some grass here. Oh, that's gorgeous animation for fake grass for 1993. That's lovely. Now, I've no idea what sort of game this is, by the way. Well, I know it's a JRPG. I know that much. But I don't know how it works. Like, you know... I'm not sure whether we're playing by Pokemon rules here, where if I go into the grass, I'm likely to run into random encounters or something. No bloody idea whatsoever. Oh, but I'm being called to by the Mana Sword. Don't worry, Mana Sword, I'm coming. Yep, there it is. Right, so got to go and find the Mana Sword. And oh, now I don't know how to fall off a log. I can only do that when it's inconvenient. Gotcha. Right, loop around a and oh... The village is this way. I have to find something to cut through. Aha! Well, the Mana Sword of Legend would do the job. Just flipping right. Here we go. One Mana Sword. John, remove the sword. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, I want to do that. You pull a sword from a stone, you become king. You get a sword from a lake, also king. And never mind, it also summons a ghost. Hello, John. It is I who asked. The sword. And, oh, I can't quite hear him very well. Unfortunately, yeah, there's a waterfall in the background, so it's a bit noisy around here. You mean this sword? And... Yay, I'm the hero of... Wait, not time, that's Zelda. Um, sword? Yes, I'm the hero of sword. Possibly mana, who knows? And there we go. Uh-oh, I've got a health meter. That suggests I can die at this point. Right, so now I can move around. I can swing my sword and... Uh, Aha, uh -huh, hang on, is that like my AP or something at the bottom there? So when I swing, I can't... No, I can swing immediately. Okay, maybe it's a weaker swing if I'm not charged up or something. I'm not sure, we'll need to look into that. Yeah, it feels like it's like AP but in real time. Okay, something like that. Anyway, back to the village with the mana sword regardless. And 
Hello over there, you're a rabbite. What are you doing in a place like this, rabbite? Also, is, is a rabbite good or bad? Because it seems to be hiding from me, so I don't really want to, like, attack it or anything. No, I'm just going to leave it be, because... Is that a bad guy? I don't feel like I want to attack it. I feel like it's running away from me. It's just a cute little fluffy bunny. No, I'm going to leave the bunny be. You're about to attack me, by the way. Yeah, okay, it attacked me. Okay, it's now started it. Right, so I've lost a bit of health. That's all fine. Everything's okay. The rabbits are dicks. I now don't feel bad about murdering them all. Oh, I've also got a big sprint attack if I want a sprint attack. So, okay. Go for a seven. Then if I keep swinging. Yeah, that's not doing much damage anymore. Okay, so I think I need to fully charge up to get... Yes, that was 18. Okay, so yeah, I'm guessing I need to charge up my abilities there. So that then did nothing on the second swing. Fall back, go in for a big swing. That was another 18. So yeah, charge up and then... Okay, finish off that. Now it can get to me and... Boom! That was only four. And excuse me, you stupid rabbi. Right, that thing's now dead. Okay, hopefully I'm getting the basics here. All right, let's make this happen here. So go and yeah, get a big hit. Wait, charge back up again. Big hit. Okay, there we go. And now, ooh, did I just get a special thing? Because is that how I open chests? I just pick them up, shake them and smash them on the ground. Oh, well done. And also when my AP bar or whatever it's called is full, I can do a big charge, but only in a straight line that empties it. Fine, so I can move around very fast like that. There's a 14, charge, big attack again, missed, and big attack, well, kind of big attack, big enough attack, damn it. And my weapon skill has gone up, my sword has reached level 1. Hang on, let's see if I can figure out what that actually means. So as a character, I'm still level 1 and need another 5 XP to level up. But my rusty sword is, I assume that means level 1. You know what? It's good. It's probably good. It means I'm ready to kick more rabbite ass. So we'll just get on with that. And there we go. A few more rabbites dead. Now I am level 2. Finish off, I swear I saw. Yeah, I saw another one of you down there. No, you don't. You don't get... Oh, bloody hell. They're coming at me. They're coming out of the bloody long grass. Professor Oak was right. Right, I'm now level 2. That's good. Well, probably anyway. I can't actually remember what my stats were before. So keep an eye on that. It's like, yeah, 16, 16, 14, 6 and 6. Right, 16, 16, 6 and 6. That's nice and easy to remember. Try and remember that. See if when I get to level 3, you know, I get better or something. Oh, I've definitely got more health though. I didn't have 59 hit points before. So okay, that's definitely up at the bare minimum. And I've made it back to the village. And probably people are going to be annoyed about the fact I've now got a sword on me. Did you see that, John? A minute ago, something lit up the sky near the falls. Yeah, don't worry, it was the magic sword of manor. I'm the chosen hero now. Right, time to explore the village. And we start off with a nice, groovy little shopkeeper here who's doing a lovely dance. So, uh, he's selling me candy, turnips, a fountain, a bandana, or some overalls. Right, how do they compare to what I've got? Because I don't know how they compare. Right, I've already got overall, so don't buy them. You know what, maybe we'll get back to shopping later. Apparently the elder wants to see me because I walked into the long grass and then started murdering a giant pile of rabbits. Oh, and even worse, this guy right here won't let me leave the village because of monsters outside until I've got Pewter City's gym badge, so bloody hell. Right, I better go and see the elder slash gym leader slash whatever. Right, I'm guessing you're the elder. John, you're not hurt. They just told me what happened. Yeah, I know. I kind of fell off a log. It was a bit of an idiot thing to do. Sorry about that. Elliot, I thought you were a goner. And Timothy says, I know it was stupid to bring someone like him along. Right, okay. You know what? I'll have you know, I'm now the chosen hero. So you can shut the hell up or I'll set my ghost friend on you. John, what's that you have? Oh, no. It couldn't be. Yes, it is. I'm now the chosen hero. Thanks. What have you done? How could you have pulled out the mana sword? Yeah, it turns out I'm awesome. Chosen one. Off on my hero's journey now. Be back when I'm rich and famous. Legend has it that our village is finished. If that sword is removed and here it is. Oh no, never mind. Sorry, I've doomed us all. My mistake. But you can see how I get confused, right? Sword, stone. Oh, now everyone's angry and yelling that I'm an outsider at me and now I've got to go and kill the monsters to save them in diddly diddly d. Fine, I'm a persona known grantor in my own village, gotcha. Oh, but hang on. First, giant earthquake, hole in the ground. Right, so I'm in. Oh, bloody hell, there's a giant mecha scyther over there. So apparently I'm now supposed to be dealing with this. Um, watch how the monster moves before attacking. Um, okay. 
What do you mean by that? How does combat work in this game? Okay, so go in, swing, and then back off and let... Okay, so it's about to do an attack on... Oh! Admittedly, I thought it was going to, like, you know, shoot in a straight line. So then just, like, move... Oh, can I do my dash to get out of the way? That probably is what I'm supposed to be doing, but now, now I'm unconscious. Okay, so this, this hasn't gone well as a starting point. Yeah, now I'm just unconscious, and now I'm going to... Now I'm going to die. Okay. Back away at this point. Need to figure out how to deal with this. And gem missile. Right, I'm pretty sure I'm dead, actually. Hang on, I hope you says, man, who's possibly the Grim Reaper. Hang on a minute. Clear your mind. Wait until you have 100% power. Aim carefully. Right, okay, I get a second go. Right, so go in, swing. Go in, oh, watch out for his bloody things. And I really fall unconscious a lot. Right, get in there, swing at him. And then when he goes for me, then... No, I just fall unconscious an awful, awful lot because of this monster's attacks. I need to get the hell out of dodge and... Oh, he's just perma-staggering me. Right, I'm missing something here. Ah, luckily on this occasion, death is just bringing me back from, you know, the dead on every occasion. So, no, 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 screw you, screw you. At this point, I've got infinite health because death's on my side. And there we go. I only need to be brought back from the dead twice and I have defeated the monster. I might need a bit of practice before I'm ready to be the chosen hero, to be honest. But yeah, the monster's exploded, so you're welcome, village I've just saved. Way to go! You only died twice! And I got the sword orb! You did it! Wait there, I'll pull you up! Wait, was the man different from the Grim Reaper? Because I swear the Grim Reaper was sparing me there for a second. Okay, now this guy, this guy I get on with, he's not punching me in the face or yelling that I've doomed everyone. He's just saying, hey, supposed to be pulled out by a knight in times of great trouble. So I'm guessing I pulled it out, therefore I'm a knight. So good. The problem is you're too young, something must have happened to the mana sword. I'm sorry, are you saying that the magical sword broke because I clearly suck too much to be the chosen one? Because I've had enough of everybody putting me down today, okay? Ah, we're doing a wind waker. I need to re-energize the sword because it sucks right now. So visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. She's been protecting these lands for over 200 years. Listen to her advice. Gotcha. Time to go and fix up a sword. And not only does everyone think I'm an incompetent idiot, I'm being banished from the village forever. Be beautiful. I took you in and raised you, but there's nothing I can do to help. Please forgive me. Yes, indeed. So... Uh, it's rather sad, actually. As an opening, I've just accidentally ruined everything and now I'm being kicked out forever. So that's a shame. Right, well, am I allowed to use the shop before I go? Right, at this point, the merchants are being sniffy at me too. They're literally only selling to me because the elder told them to. Bloody hell. I don't know what a cup of wishes is. I'll take a bandana, please. That seems like a good thing. And I feel like, yeah, some medical herbs, a good idea. I'll take at least two of them. I feel like having some of that out in the wild can't be a bad thing. Other than that, I'll save my money for the time being. And here we go. Bandana. Equip. And that's now on that character for plus two to armor. Lovely. You are hereby banished from Potos Village. Now get out of here. Right. Well, I guess I'll go and just murder some monsters then. Yeah, here we go. Some nice rabbits to start me off with. That's nice and simple. So finish you off. 100% and you're... Oh, hang on. Sorry, I thought you were more dead than that. Yes, Potos Village. Not allowed there. Cannon Travel Center. Right. Let's go over there and try and get myself not banished if at all possible. Hi, we the Cannon Travel Brothers are building a global network going to the Water Palace. Gemma's already left. He paid your way to hop in. Thank you. No thanks just now, but okay. Right, so I can walk there or this guy's willing to teleport me to the water palace through... Oh, by blasting me out of a cannon. You know what? I'm going to go on foot rather than use the fast travel network. So yeah, the Night Gemma, he decided to actually, yeah, pay my way to use the fast travel network. But I'll go on foot because, yeah, I need the XP and the practice fighting so I know what I'm doing here. Oh, also the plants are now coming at me. Right, that's... That's a little bit on the concerning side. Uh, that's terrifying. I hate carnivorous plants. They really creep me the hell out. So Water Palace is up in that direction. Uh, Kingdom of Pandora. Now I want to go to the Water Palace, please. But yeah, I would like to get some experience. And I'm just going to assume you're bad. Uh, screw you, toad. Uh, and another big hit. And more big hits. And are you dead yet? Yes, okay. You're dead. Lovely. And you've also dropped a thing. And I've got myself a... 
Sorry, did that chest just contain a glove that punched me in the face? Right, so some chests are just trap chests. Gotcha. Danger, beware of goblins. Right, well, goblins should probably beware of me too. Are you a plant? Yeah, I figured you were a plant. Right, okay, no, get, no, stop getting eaten by it. Now it's now it's coming for me. Bloody hell. That's, that's truly terrifying. Right, come on this way. And boom. Right, you're now dead. Can't get through rocks. Watch out for goblins. Carnivorous plants. Yay, yeah, I know you. I flipping recognized you. Screw you. Oh, I found my item. So you press Y to go into the circular menu. Then you can tap up and down to cycle to weapon selection. And yeah, then items. So I'm guessing that candy I've been picking up is in fact, yeah, healing. Right, okay. Now I know how to do that. Good. And having hit level three, yes. Okay, my strength, agility, everything's gone up. Because I was totally 16, 16, 14, 6 and 6. So now everything's gone up apart from intelligence, which is... Reasonable under the circumstances, because apparently I did just pull a sword out of a stone and doom us all. So, fair enough, my intelligence gets to stay a bit on the low side. So this way we've got Welcome to Nico's. Alright, I'll go and have a chat to whatever a Nico is. Hello there, Nico. Also, Nico is apparently a giant cat. Hello there. So, what have you got, Nico the cat? And I see how it goes. I can see which items I am and am not allowed to actually wear. So the hair ribbon I can't because I don't have a symbol, but I'm guessing there's going to be party members who can wear hair ribbons. Uh, uh, the bandana, however, I can wear that, but I've already got a bandana, so I'm not sure if that's a better bandana or just prices vary. Also, that's a really bloody expensive barrel, so let's not go buying that. i tell you what, I'll take myself a wristband, because uh, I'm allowed to buy that, so go on then. And same rules apply. If I tap up, I go between, yeah, what I'm wearing on my body, what I'm wearing on my head, and what I'm wearing on my wrist. So, uh, I'll put that on for additional, I assume, one armor, however that's defined precisely. Right, enough of that. On we go. Need to make our way to the water palace and, oh, bloody hell. Right, knowing this game, this guy's a bounty hunter who's been sent to kill me. So, uh, yeah, water palace, keep on going. Hello there, we came from Pandora to fight Eleni, the witch in the haunted forest. Okay, good, someone doesn't want to murder me, that's nice. And apparently that's major dialogue, so this mission will be full of danger, we'll do our best. Right, I'm guessing I'll be helping out with that mission sooner or later. Probably best to go and have a little look at the water palace first though, because you know, I was supposed to be going there, and hello over there. Ah, water palace, water, yes, yeah, story checks out. And apparently John is just an idiot and incredibly rude. So yes, this person who's 200 years old uh, apparently looks like a girl. So I'm guessing she's an elf or something. Something, you know, slightly ageless or something. Hello there anyway. And monsters are invading the village. John just fought one incredibly badly. I know the ebb and flow of water brings me news from around the world. Mana's powers are growing weak. That's why this boy was able to take the sword. Wow, okay, so it is literally the case that I shouldn't have been able to take the sword. I just took it because the sword sucks these days. That's amazing. That's such a fun subversion of the idea of the chosen hero drawing the sword. But by defeating the monsters I accidentally, you know, caused, I can restore the sword's power. Good, good. The power's kept inside orbs. It looks like it's regained some of its power from the mantis ant. Right, I'm guessing that's the monster I killed. Gotcha. There must be more hidden orbs, which hold mana power for the sword. You must find someone who can forge the sword to release its stored power. So Gemma's off to the Empire, I need to go and find a cave, Gaia's Navel, dwarves live in that cave, they make good weapons, know all about weapons. Good, they might be able to do the reforging, or at least point me in the right direction. And here we go, we've got mana seed number one right here. For a moment, the seed and the sword became one. You have sealed the mana seed with your mana sword. Now the mana power from the seed will be sent only to you and your sword. You'll be able to gain powers from the mana seed wherever you are. The world has eight palaces. Visit them all. Receive the power from all of them. Love it. And also I'm getting a spear. Nice. So to get to Guy's Navel, head south through the realm of Pandora. Right, saw the signs for that. Know where I'm going. Lovely. Now, we've also got some weird stuff. Oh, hello. Oh. Um. I found my way to whatever this is. Hello. What's what's this place? Right, I'm guessing I need some form of item before I can do anything here. Here we go. Use the spear rather than the sword of destiny. Because the spear apparently is, like, slightly better. 
in terms of the damage it'll do. So, yeah, go on then. Sure, I'll give it a go. Uh, so, yeah, you give that a bit of a spike and... Okay, so it's a forward thrust. So, it does a bit more damage, but I think you might have to be a bit more precise. Because, yeah, you're not swinging it. You're thrusting with it. So, whatever you're attacking needs to be right in front of you. Oh, hello. What? What just happened? I've just been... What? Oh, goblins. Yes, goblins were mentioned. And now, now I'm going to be eaten. Right, I am not good at this hero business. You know, I feel a great deal of affinity for this hero, because I feel like this is about as well as I would do as the chosen hero. Oh, hang on. I think a better hero's arriving. The dancing has begun. Let's join in. No, they're just having the pre-eating me dance. Okay, I thought something important was going on. Oh, hang on. Here's someone more effective than me to save me. Good. Would you like to be the chosen hero? Because I'm terrible at it. What on earth are you doing, you idiot? I've been asking myself that question all day. This chosen one thing is not as easy as Link makes it look. I owe you my life, but what are you doing here? I've been searching for someone. For a second, I thought you were him. In case of mistaken identity, I guess I lose. Now, wait a minute. I'm only joking. Look, I'm in a hurry. You'd better get back to your home later. Yeah, I can't do that. I've been banished for being useless and terrible. I don't even know who that is. Right, you're going to be my first party member when I run into you again. Got it. Here we go. This was the sign that I wanted. And no, 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 no. No, you don't. Charge up. Attack. Get a bit more XP. And yeah, Pandora was down this way, right? Yes, Kingdom of Pandora. Right, off we flip in go. And oh, more bloody flowers that want to eat me. Ah, but it would appear spears can't actually cut through grass. So I'm going to need to go back over to sword for a second if I want to cut through the grass. Yeah, so now, now I can cut through. Right, okay. So different weapons are capable of doing different things. Okay, there's a creature up there. But I no longer trust to trust. I don't trust anything in this game. You look cute, but then the rabbits look cute. And oh, right. That's that's a little spring creature that blasted me up to where I just was. Got it. So those things are basically, yeah, living sentient springboards. Right, you have not got a good lot in life. Sorry about that. Ah, this looks good. Right, made my way to a village. Hello there, village guard. This is Pandora. I was told to let you pass through if you arrived. Right, so I'm guessing, yes indeed, the knight was the one who flagged that. And I wouldn't talk to the people in this town. Oh, okay. Why? Do they hate me? Okay, they're gonna refuse to speak to me for now. Oh, possibly they know I'm the cursed doomed one, gotcha. Ah, hang on. It's not that they won't speak to me. It's that they can't speak to me. So a handful of people can speak. Grandma has grown senile and won't say a thing. Yeah, I think it might be more serious than that, friend. Some people are gathering at the ruins south of this town. Odd things have been happening ever since Grandma goes there. Ah. So, ruins south of town. People are falling mysteriously silent. Gotcha. And here we go. Two characters who don't say anything. And the children. What's happened to Mama and Papa? Right, okay. Something's gone really, really, weirdly, creepily wrong with this town. Gotcha. Any chance I can just head straight south and, yeah, check out these here ruins? Because, yeah, that looks like a ruin right there. Right, let's go figure out what the bloody hell's going on here. Because, oh, okay, things. Things going wrong and people refusing to speak. Yeah, I found some ruins here. Can any of you guys actually say anything? No, you've all been silenced by the terrifying dark god. But... These guys won't let me in and won't say anything either. Fine, this is probably going to be our first big dungeon then, but I need to find a way to communicate with these people who can't speak anymore. So, uh, let's go find Gemma and the King, uh, figure out what the bloody hell's going on here, because I'm guessing uh, bad things. Ah, and Commander Dylok, who was going to take out a witch in a forest, he apparently comes from this here castle. Fine, so we'll probably be running into him again at some point soon. Oh, but there's more drama before we get to sorting out the ruins. A girl yells, Dad, you're impossible. I'll make my own decisions about my life. Hey, it's the guy I saved. Oh, it's you again. Sorry, I didn't recognise you. I think you've slightly done your hair a bit differently. Right, so you're a swordsman. Oh, you mean this. Uh, this is great. Actually, I'm holding a spear right now, but whatever. This is great. I need your help. I helped you, didn't I? It's your turn. We're going to go teach that witch a lesson. We're going to save Dylark. Right. Okay, um, actually, Underground Palace, but no, later, later. 
Apparently I just get totally railroaded by random characters I run into. This is marvellous. Oh, and I have to name this young lady. Right, well, she's very headstrong and she's got red hair, so I think we know where this is going. And there we go, Claire has officially joined the party. So now I've got myself a Claire. So, how do we control her? I've no bloody clue. Here we go, caught up with Gemma, and apparently the witch Alini is indeed draining people's energy. People are going to the ruin in the southern part of the town. I'll have a look around, head for Gaia's navel. Right, I know I'm supposed to be doing that, but Claire wants me to go and, like, rescue a knight or something. Right, well, she can't help me out with this situation up here, so... If the witch is the one that's making them fall silent and come here, probably we do need to do as Claire says and go and deal with the witch first. So, I'm guessing that weird forest place we ran into, I mean, that's where Dialogue was and we need to go and rescue him. So, uh, fine, let's head over there, see what we can do. So, okay, in combat, it looks like Claire isn't getting involved by default. And a lullabud gets whacked. Apparently that thing was called a lullabud, who bloody knew? Right, okay, so you're not getting involved, but am I allowed to... Yeah, well, one, you took a little bit of a knock during that fight, so as you've not got much health right now, best heal you up for the time being, Claire. Oh, bloody hell, she uses spiked knuckles. Right, so she definitely can fight. And apparently, yeah, she can hit just as hard as me. So probably best we try and figure out how to go over to her for the time being. Here we go, so she's got her own menu. So if I tap X rather than Y, we go into the menu, but for her... Ah, here we go. Am I giving her behaviour based on the action grid? So yeah, I would like you to approach and attack, please. So now we've set her on the action grid. Is she willing to go and get a bit more? Oh yeah, now she's getting involved. Right, Claire gets straight up to level two. Oh, she is just beating the hell out of everything. Right, okay. So yeah, now we just wail on these bugs. And Lullabud gets whacked. Everyone just, yeah, basically wail on this thing. Right, okay. So Claire is now in full-on rage mode because I set her to be in rage mode on the action grid. Gotcha. Aha. And I found my way to Gaia's navel. Right. So that's what the knight wants me to do. Now I know where that is. That's straight up or there's Kipo Village. Right, we're going to go to Kipo Village just for a second because there might be something we can pick up from the shops for you, Claire. Here we go, Kung Fu Dress. That sounds like the sort of thing. Yeah, the Kung Fu Dress is a bit on the expensive side. I think what we'll get is, uh, yeah, probably double chain vest if I can, together with a hair ribbon. Oh, yeah, chain vest. That's the way to go right there. Yeah, move myself over to chain vest. Much better defense. Also, I can just give Claire the sword. Yeah, Claire's now using the mana sword, so she's now the chosen hero. Good, I prefer that, to be honest. Right, Claire, as we're already here, how about we just quickly go and visit Guy's navel? We will go and deal with the witch momentarily, but we are literally standing next to Guy's navel, so... Oh, yeah, I see you. Wow, she's not even waiting to begin the fight. She's just diving in there. Possibly I put a bit too much rage mode on Claire when I was setting her up. You know what, I'm just going to start playing as Claire, because Claire seems like the badass one. She's got the sword now, she's blatantly the chosen hero. So, yeah, we're basically all on Team Claire right now. John can just, you know, back me up as best he can. You know, it's kind of a viable tactic to just wail on them, to keep them busy and stunlocked, while you just wait for your friend to charge up your attack. And then, yeah, there we go, Claire gets up to level 4. So yeah, if you just basically keep them busy, uh oh, Claire's been poisoned, which is... Bad. Let's just, yeah, wail on this guy. I want one of them dead before the other one comes in. Right, Claire gets up to... Did Claire just hit level 5 immediately? Or possibly that was... I don't know. Something happened. Something good happened. Let's just go and murder... Oh, he's behind some flowers and can't get through. Fine, we'll go and kill this one instead. And this time, we can indeed enter the waterfall cave. Where are we? This place has nothing to do with Dylock, does it? I want to go to Eleni's castle in the Haunted Forest, okay? Right, so Claire is literally not going to let me save the world until I've sorted out her personal problems for her. I kind of love her, she's amazing. Alright Claire, I've brought you back to the Haunted Forest, but you better know how to cross, like, you know, these things. Because I have no bloody clue how we actually get from, you know, point A to point B here. Okay, much time later... I finally realised that the Haunted Woods aren't the Haunted Woods looking things I saw earlier. No, the Haunted Forest is in fact right next to the navel. Like right here next to where I was. It's this little path up here. So I probably should have read the sign to be honest. Yes, oh bloody hell, that's... 
That's a lot of Venus flytraps right there. Okay, I need a moment to gather myself here because I don't really like Venus flytraps. Right, and go! And oh, okay, most of them weren't actually Venus flytraps. Gotcha. Hang on a minute, this is the same bloody haunted forest. It's just I'm entering it from a different location. And how do I get over to. Oh! Okay, I'm being shot. I'm being shot by. How do I get past you? Do I just need to loop around? How do I get. Aha! I see you. Right, okay, you're annoying. I see you're very annoying right there. You hide behind barriers and you've got bows. Okay, stay around over here and cut through it. Ow, blimey heck. John Stabber, he just shot me with a bow. And he's trying to back away from me. Right, I'll just basically well on him to hold him still. You get the big stab on him, John. Go on, John, I believe in you. And you missed, didn't you, you stupid loser? Right, around and around and in we go. And yeah, now, now you're boned, aren't you? Yeah, now you're... Absolutely utterly screwed. Right, people are getting whacked, and on top of that, we get ourselves ah friendly shop and save point right there. Right, take care of you momentarily. Just need to figure out how to get round to you, and I think it's down through over here. And unfortunately, John's not clever enough to figure that out. So how about I was about to switch over to him just to make sure, but I think Claire can handle this by herself. To be honest, there we go, lovely. Claire is in fact you know the actual chosen one, so it's fine. But yeah, if I need to, I can just change over to John to move him into position. So yeah, I can just change backwards and forwards as much as I want to. Hello, have you got anything good to sell? Well, I could get an extra wristband for Claire for a bit of extra defense. Sure, she hasn't got quite as much health, so go on then. Also, I've no idea what a cup of wishes is, but now I'm curious. Cup of wishes, I have one of those. What does it do? It doesn't do anything yet. Maybe that's revival. That feels like that might be a revive. Problem though, we won't be able to cut through, yeah, the toughest stuff without an axe. I heard there's a dwarf blacksmith in. Oh, if only you'd let me go to Gaia's Naval first, Claire. Okay, here's a bit of an odd thing. Um, I've seen the Reaper apparently. This is unusual. Have I seen the Reaper? I'm just going to... Okay, I think Claire's dead. So that's, that's good. So I'm playing as John now. <laughs> If I had to guess, I'm going to say, this is what, yes, the actual wishing glass is going to be for. Yes, okay. So that makes Claire be not dead. I was spot on. That was indeed a revive. Okay, so now, now at this point, Claire is very happy to visit flipping naval whatever it is. Gaia's naval, that's the one. Right, first, we've got ourselves some enemies to take care of here. So big terrifying balls, weird goblin creature. What do we do with big, terrifying balls? It kind of feels like... Ooh, they feel evasive, actually. If I just kind of randomly wail on them. Yeah, you know what? I'll just keep it busy, John. You stab him. Okay, they just keep coming back. Keep multiplying. This is slightly tricky, actually. Come on. Die, you stupid multiply. John, get him. Right, never mind. He's basically functionally immortal. Just run. Run. Leave the green blob be. There we go. Goblins. Goblins are much easier to kill. Crack on, attack goblins. That's just, yeah, we can deal with goblins. In fact, goblins are also, yeah, they're asleep. So you get yourself the first attack in. Nice and easy. And fully charge. Dead kid goblin. Oh, we're just murdering children now. Okay, that's fine. Didn't need to specify they were children. I would have happily believed that these were guards and this was just self-defense. But no, we're murdering children. Ah, I've just learned something here. I figured out John was doing weirdly large amounts of damage. So what you do is you attack, and then 100% comes back, and then you're doing a charge, and then when you release, then the big damage happens. Right, okay. I see what we're doing here. That might be how we kill you, so go, and then charge. Right, so now, now you guys are screwed. Okay, that didn't kill them at all. Those guys are just functionally immortal. Leave a be, John, just run. Right, John, don't attack, don't attack, don't attack. I want to try this, so charge. Charge, charge, and there we go. That was that was 21. That was underwhelming, but okay, fine, what have you. Especially as my normal swing does 19. Yeah, I'm um under up. There was 20. That was just 20 right there. I'm feeling like, yeah, the charge attack doesn't really do much. Still, Claire's at level 8. That's nice. Oh, 29. Okay, that was a bit better on that occasion. 29 is good, so give it a charge, and here we go for literally zero. Good, good. Here we go. There's a weird skull here. So hit that. That does 
things. Yeah, would you mind closing up just so... Oh, hang on. Now that that's open, does that lead to something... What? Why is the music changed? Why is the music jaunty in the terror cave? What? What's happening? Is that... Are we now in the town? Right, it's because we've reached the town. Right, okay. Hello there. You can hear rumbling from somewhere even deeper in here. Sounds like digging. That's very ominous for the jaunty music that just started playing. Ah, this looks like the sort of place I want to be. People with skulls on their heads, lava, diddly diddly dee. Show me that sword, it's covered with rust, it'll break in no time. And I am what? The blacksmith, I'll reforge it for 100 gold. Flipping bargain, you've just saved the world for pocket change, marvellous. Wait a minute, that must be the mana sword. Yes, indeed it is good, sir, congratulations. Perhaps the power of the mana sword has seeped into my hammer. Great, think I'll try and make an axe with this. Come back in, ooh, an axe, good. We'll come back and see you later, that's marvellous. Right, so the rusty sword has now officially become a broad sword, lovely. Uh-oh, but something's apparently coming. There are problems. Is it a monster? Do we have to deal with a monster? Oh, bloody hell, what? What is that? Hello! What are you and- Oh, I'm guessing it's bad. Okay, how do we actually get to this thing, by the way? Because we've got- Okay, run, just, just get outside. When I say get outside. Okay, we can't. Right, what's going on here? How do we kill this thing? Because I can't get to it. Okay, from here with a charged attack, can I actually get... Okay, I can do something to it, or rather John did something to it. Right, okay, we can just actually reach it through the rocks. So through here, wait, and... There we go. Okay, big attack right there, and it goes straight back under. Okay, I see what we're doing. Okay, back over here, back over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, and... Big attack, and then immediately start running, actually. Good, so we're doing some damage to it at least. Wait, charge up, and it's coming over here, and... Come on, actually, I can just hit it without even doing the charge. Just the normal attacks are fine, which means I can move around much faster. Right, come over here, come over here, come over here, and just swing. Yeah, the range on your weapons is more than you'd think it would be. It's kind of odd. And there we go, we got him. Just, yeah, keep doing that over and over again. Yeah, bit of an odd boss there, because, yeah, it feels odd to actually attack something through a barrier you're not allowed to actually walk through yourself. So, okay, bare minimum, I've officially managed to save the dwarves, so I'm kind of hoping they'll be grateful for that. So, the way to the palace is now going to be open to us, but we've also got a little sprite who lives with the dwarves who wants to come with, so I see no reason why not. And we apparently need to name this little sprite. So yeah, this is a little sprite that's occasionally slightly annoying, but we love her anyway. So yeah, that's going to be Tabby. Ah, I see. Tabby's a bit more flimsy because she's got a bow and a boomerang and stuff. So okay, I see. But we can't actually get into the temple to actually find the mana seed until the witch's seal is broken because something something lava pool. So we're going back to the witch then. And the blacksmith finishes off the axe, be beautiful. So yeah, find mana weapons, bring them to this guy. But for the time being, I've got myself a mana axe. And very generously, ah, I see. He's just opened up a shortcut to where the cat merchant is. So this is just behind the second waterfall, lovely. Here we go, armed with a mighty axe, John could just chop through the rocks and now we can start making our way forward here. I don't know where we are now. Yeah, this is back to where we were, that little shortcut to the beginning. Though, hang on. New warp point. Right, take us deeper and deeper into the forest, please. We need to find ourselves a witch. Ooh, this is looking good. I want to say this is looking good. We just arrived at what looks distinctly like, you know, a temple-looking thing. But now, now there's a giant... Whatever that is. I don't know, but let's just go and, like, wail on it a bit. So, charge, 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 and... Ooh, Tabby reaches level 5, and, okay, the, the chest is trying to run away, and it's probably going to contain a bomb anyway. No, I got a cup of wishes. Marvellous. Well, that's good news. Right, so now we've got ourselves... I've been moogled. That's... that's interesting. Now, now I'm a moogle. And now John's a moogle. And also Claire's now a ghost. Okay, everyone just retreat... Retreat, Tabby! Tabby, just get out of there for a second. Okay, the nice thing is, we do have two cups of wishes. So we can bring back Claire and Tabby. But that is kind of the end. So Tabby, I did tell you to stay at the back. 
Kind of feel like you weren't listening to me there. Also, Tabby, I think you're not contributing enough right now, so I'd like you to, yeah, keep your distance, but still attack, please. And, oh, we have got ourselves, yes, there we go. That's right. Just, yeah, basically keep firing bows at him. Now Tabby's pulling her weight, damn it. Oh, okay, hang on. Claire's got a new trick as ah, she went up to the next level of sword. So now she can do a great big sword spin attack. Oh, flip me. Right, also John's been... Okay, everyone's moogled. Right, guys, run. We've all been moogled and that's bad. All right, some form of giant armored fox over there. Everybody charge up your abilities and... In we go! Oh, yes, yeah, slaughtered. And now we're inside the Witcher's Palace. And oh, bloody hell, Claire's a Moogle again. Oh, bloody hell, that thing's just going to keep spawning more bloody things. Okay, guys, guys, I need you to... John's Moogled and Claire's dead. Okay, um, everyone just run. Run past that thing. Okay, those eyes are annoying. Okay, so Claire's dead and we can't bring her back. Now it's just... Oh, bloody hell, the, the chairs are attacking me too. Everything's unexpected. Bloody... Get, get, I'm trapped in a corner. Who am I? No, Tabby's, Tabby's dead as well. Run, run. I, I'm trapped. I'm completely trapped by chairs. I'm actually trapped in a corner right now. I can't, I can't move. And then, right, so that's, that's how the hero's journey ended. No trace of them was ever found because they were eaten by chairs. That's how the Chosen One story ends. I was eaten by a chair. We were all eaten by chairs. We were just destroyed by dining room furniture. You know, somehow that feels like a very appropriate end for this particular chosen one, doesn't it? So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Secret of Mana, and there are three heroes right there. Right, so I'm guessing it's just three. It's a party of three. You know what? I can see why people like this, because it's charming, and the script holds up today. It's kind of nice to have that fun subversion of the chosen one trope, where the chosen one is actually cowardly and a total pushover and has accidentally doomed everyone and gets repeatedly banished from every village that he visits. Yeah, that's a fun little way of telling the story. I'll say there are some things I haven't dated desperately well. Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff that just isn't tutorials. Like, that whole charge your weapon to do a mega strike thing. That just was not mentioned anywhere. And the fact that, yeah, you can enter the haunted forest early, but, like, that's not the entrance you're supposed to use. You're supposed to go for a different entrance to the haunted forest. Yeah, there's some stuff that's not 100% intuitive, but... I'll forgive it, it's a game from 1993. In 1993, this would have blown me away, and I can see why people still love it dearly to this day. There's a lot that still stacks up very nicely. If you're nostalgic for this, ladies and gentlemen, here you go. Collection of Mana. Well worth a look -see. Three well-regarded classics in a little collection. Of course, if you weren't into JRPGs back in the day, if this sort of thing just wasn't your cup of tea, these are pretty much straight re-releases. So it's likely not going to win over new converts. But if you were fond of that period of gaming, then uh, yeah. Could well be worth a Luxy. As for me, I'm always glad to experience a little bit of gaming history I missed the first time round. Long may it continue. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nut. And this has been Secret of Mana. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Claire, show off what the buttered packaging does. That's amazing! 25, 50, 100, and then 110. If you didn't hide the butter, you just fold the packaging onto the butter and it. I that's amazing! <laughs> That's such a good idea! See, John, how long has Butter been doing this? Forever. <laughs>